Rouse has got to be careful in the early going because we expect Manny to go right after him. Here we go, round number one. Pacquiao again in one. That's really his only hope uh, with uh, Wayne McCullers, I pointed out, last fight against uh, Israel Vasquez. But Manny, he'd like to finish it as quick as he can because it's a huge payday. You can be sure his heart is in his mouth. Hoping nothing happens to Manny. Like a man the only thing that could mess up that decide so that Pacquiao could not settle into an attack. Pacquiao with an attack and he's not able to really land and he looks like he has an advantage in reach but in reality he doesn't. Body shots exchanged by both guys. Manny hasn't been able to But there's only 54 seconds to go. Here's Manny. Cuts him a couple of... Has more power in his right hand now. So let's see if that comes into play during this fight. But Mario has to take the tip of the way. Now here they go. Tempo one. Aaron at the Coliseum. Quezon City. Manila. The Philippines. He can change the course of this momentarily. And you see Lario is the right hand and now he caught him. Valario. Manny in front of him now, moving the hands up and down, looking right hand. Manny faints the race. The movement, he stopped long enough that Pacquiao nailed him. They want to stop in front of him. Fields gambled from the outside to try and score with his right hand. And that's why he got the man. Now the wide stance as he bounces and lands the right hand. Larios cannot afford to throw a right hand and be short. To go in the second round, Manny must feel that he can do what he wants. And he decides to open up. And he hits an uppercut in Coming together, which I'm glad Bruce uh, indicated that he's on top of that. This is a very good referee, a veteran of... He showed up with that left hook, Colonel. There's he a chance here. He got hit with the right hand. And now what a chance for Larios. And of course the crowd goes crazy, so don't be fooled by that. Straight right hand again by Larios. And there the left hook, and he showed that he could slug, but he still has to be properly timed as far as taking his chance. And he's a hand speed to them now, and that might prove to be his downfall. And he clipped him with a straight right hand. Nice left hook. Larios has come to fight. Oh, he got hit with a pretty good right hand that time. And another right. If this is by a glove, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't involve the accidental headbutt. All right, here we go. This is round number four. It's scheduled for 12 rounds. It's the WBC International Super Featherweight Champions. Three rounds, and what he has done is put himself in a position. He had to do, and that's survived the first three and we're in the four. One stage, he did catch fire. His legs were a little bit loose. And then look at the little hand. That looked better than what it was. Keep himself in this fight. And Bruce McTavish very concerned about it. Well, you know, he's been ready for one big opportunity rather than working his way in. He's an explosive guy. Well, both of us gave Larios one and three and Pacquiao two and four. This is round five at Arena. And even though we gave him the last round, give a little bounce the right there. From the patented power hand. He's gonna stay right with his fight plan. Keep the jab going. That is what uh, a good move is to set a guy up. And he did it again with that too. He's not just out there to a lot of us watching and a lot of people watching. It looks like he's got it successful. In the meantime, Larry is doing a nice job. And he's on the start. They fell a little bit short. You know, you come back, you try to get the next one, keep yourself in the fight. But that little move by Pacquiao has scored twice now. In this from ABS CBN, who's a coordinating producer here in the Philippines. We appreciate it. From Araneta Coliseum. Is the attack of Manny Pacquiao. Nothing big landed, though. He is moving more now, and now with him moving, he's the game in the movement of Lario. Yeah, and he does a nice job in the land. Both the right-handed and left-handed fighter when they're fighting the opposite. It's a gift that comes from outside. Manny shows speed. Still the right hand, then the left hand. Action of Lario shows because his knees didn't go and his head was not. Wow, look at this. But Cavish is because it's beginning to split open as we see more blood. And now you know of the extraordinary power of Pacquiao that becomes so obvious. His Manny, uppercuts, left hook. Straight rips another one to the side of the head. Flies into the body. Now he's softening up after all that. This is Manny. Had good rounds, but this is a very dominant round for Manny Pacquiao. As I say that, Larios tries to load up and blast with a big right hand. And I'm knocked out. But in the seventh round, we'll see if Manny can continue what he's done.
Now we're seeing the Pacquiao jab doubling up, and that wasn't there for him earlier. So everything is opening up now. Got to be frustrating uh, a bit for Lowe. Trying to tie up just to stay in this thing. And physical shape. But many of many Pacquiao's landing power shots out. The head was down. Watch his legs, folks, and that'll tell you where the head and the body's going. His man is throwing up shots. Big shots. You better answer for the ease that he was a couple of rounds ago. And he's firing these shots and not trying to get caught. Uh, he wrote he's talking about that Manny can come forward, that left shoulder and show a lot of power now with his right hand. There's another right hand shot to fire. Our at the Coliseum in Manila, the Philippines. And it was a flash knockdown. And he was able to jump right back up himself. Now Manny Pacquiao, nice time, beginning to bust up the face of Larios as well. Manny had right there, one, five, six, and seven. So look at that combination. That he intended to take his best chances to hear he's still alive. Now he is, and now Manny spins it. And he unleashes the barrage of the goal. He wants to try. So Manny Pacquiao, Pacquiao right in front of him, looking to land a power shot. And it could come from either hand, left or right. A short, crisp right hand by Manny Pacquiao. All right, we move to the ninth round. Again, this is scheduled the lights here. This is round number nine action. Manny tries to go to the body downstairs. He makes Mario the power shot. Of Manny. When you can look to the body enough, and all of a sudden, you can't run it. Usually, you get a tune up and all change, and you get your whole car redone. That's that Judah. Carlos Baldemar surprised him. And that's what he's famous for. Nice straight left hand again. And here it comes again. A combination. Yeah, Pacquiao's punch percentage is up a lot in this round. He's getting through and getting through in the world. Boxing is king in the Philippines. Here we go, round number 10, remember? Has taken a lot of punishment, and nobody dreamed, really, that it would go beyond three or four. And then bring them to your heart. Make no mistake about it, even though Manny's out boxing in the past four or five rounds, and he's playing his big shots now, but there's no quick. Can't lose a fight by decision, in my opinion, right now. Oh, look at that blasting shot. He keeps throwing punches, thus he doesn't give the ref a chance to stop the fight. That's why Pacquiao spins, moves to the right. You can will yourself not to get knocked out. And right now, he is willing himself to stay. He doesn't show great impatience to me, though. You know, not an urgency like I gotta knock this guy out. A couple of light lefts thrown by Manny. It is a strong left and then the spinning move. I love that move by uh, Larry without boxing him now. We talk about conditioning. We had questions whether he was in great shape. Well, no first four rounds of the fight. But for Larios, that was important because everybody, to Rafael Mendoza, all said, if he can survive three, he can maybe hang in there for 12. And now he comes back strong enough, and again, against the Pac-Man, who now goes downstairs with the right hooks and is opening up with the good speed there. And they just exchange the lead, and he jumps around to his right, makes it very tough. But look at Larios, he continues to hang in there. Body shot. Yeah, His leg's a little bit loose. But look at him, he loads up and muscles up another right of hand. He will not knock out, but you know what? He's safely ahead in the cards, so it's got to be a perfect scenario for Pacquiao. Great kid, and we've had so much fun with him this week. But in reality, out there, and uh, trusted his chin, trusted his conditioning, and hung in there as long as he could, as best he can do that. 12th and final round of the fight. So now he was hanging there, he needs a knockout if he's going to win. It's Pacquiao, the gifted little guy from the Philippines. Manny would love to finish this off. With him using it well, plus the conditioning has kept him in the fight. But Pacquiao working inside, a little bit of a taller. Right, and he really, really worked hard. And the pace of this fight is another thing. I mean, there's been non-stop action in this fight from the get-go. Good accolation about, will that hurt him in future fights? So on the heels of this, because you can be a beneficiary of low expectations. Oh, to survive this round now. He throws a shot. There's no quitting, Larios. And he's taking two more big shots. But he throws his own. He's, how about this? Oscar Larios apparently will survive the fight. He won't get the decision. But he... Pac-Man! Pac-Man! Yeah.